All right. Put some nice brand new wheels on the machine. Yep. Ryan didn't his, film his. Time to get rid of uh, stock and uh, moving over to some tusk. Oh yeah, some tusk. Bikes with the tusk bead lock rims. Where did you pick these up from? Uh, I believe I went through Amazon. The uh, company was Tuscan, I believe. Oh, probably from Tusk uh, through Amazon. Okay. Yeah. I uh, thousand bucks for tires and wheels. It was like a promotional deal. Um, beautiful. You can get them in machine finish. Nice speed lock, heavy duty. Should uh, should be fun on the rocks. I think when we go down to uh, yeah, heading off to the Badlands, guys, in uh, about yeah. hmm, a month, we're gonna go down. It's gonna be Ryan Winchester, uh, myself, uh, the Osbournes, uh, Len's going, and then uh, I think uh, Jason Slater. No. Uh, I'll figure that one out. Yeah, and we're we batching it. Group going, uh, maybe even Keith from Full Throttle. We were going to try to get him to go because Aaron didn't want to go. But uh, yeah, we'll be going down there soon. This should be quite an experience. We're going to take all the machines down. Uh, we got a lot of different uh, stuff. I'm sure you guys have seen uh, the footage online. There's a ton of videos on there. So we're going to have to get a bigger there. trailer. Yeah. <laughs> so we keep, well, I we keep man to the fleet. Yeah, I got to take two machines anyway, so we're going to have to. Uh, more than one trailer. Um, we're going to get the main house right there at the Badlands, so we're going to have actually extra access after hours and all that stuff, so it should be good. Time. Nice. Of course, everybody notices my insulation falling down everywhere. <laughs> Brian and I spent hours putting that up, and I don't know, humidity or whatever, but this is going to get a metal ceiling next week, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. But uh, anyway. Yeah, we can get food Look, it's got the droopsies. Look at the travel, just amazing. So let's just see what the first fit on there looks like. Where'd your splines go? Better uh, in the bag on the other side of the red oil. Ah. Everything's in that bag. Yeah, make sure this, uh... And then get out of the light here. We're putting on uh, D ring on the back, ZRP radius rod plate. Oh, yeah, and, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to show them that. I'm I'm doing away with the gold. We talked about that earlier. Ryan was right. You uh, actually painted that vinyl. You thought had me fooled there. Yeah. You got new vinyl. <laughs> we uh, oh, going to change good. the can ams to white. That looks really good. Get rid of that, and I painted the uh, nose there to wow. match the frame. Uh, and I just painted the vinyl there. It was gold. But uh, yeah, no. I like it much better. So absolutely, I think yep. it ties in nice. And you know, I I matched that with uh, just stuff I had laying around here that wasn't even close, and it come out almost perfect. So I still got it. I still yeah. got it. Can you tell here? Uh, so the other things that I think you've done um, that we haven't told anybody, we did you with the uh, Evo charge tubes and blow off. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yep. Also the Evo exhaust, so show them the cat leaves and all that. We still got to go get uh, with Nick at uh, side yeah. by side. We need yeah. to run up there and get that done. Uh, yeah, it kind of worries me that we're going on this ride. You're gonna be running wheels. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, let's see. We got the charge tubes there. Nice Evo exhaust. And uh, we got the cat delete pipe in there. If you can't really see that, but yep. So now we need to get a. I'm gonna get the three hour turn tune on it, and just gotta get with uh, Nick Leonardo side by side and get that done. So I uh, will be back with you. We'll get these all on. Check it out. And uh, we're also gonna do uh, grease splines today because they're chattering like a mother. And. Yeah. Uh, it sounds like something's gonna about ready to fall off. All right, I'm gonna put the ZRP plate on. Wheels are on, bam! Man. That might be an 18, you know? Frickin' sweet. I got a 118s in there. Yeah, the 3 8 one will be in there somewhere. Nope. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, you're right. Yep. Yeah. It'll be in that red one, right? Yeah, right there. Be the biggest one in there because it should be an 18. Mm mm mm. 
I do like the black wheels. Yeah, they turned out nice. I was gonna do the beadlocks orange and I changed my mind. I'm glad I did. Yeah, rear's 18. So we got 18s on the Rears back. Rear's 18, okay. So when you're doing this, the best thing to do is uh, get yourself up as high as you can to where the tires are just touching. That way you don't really have any stress on any of the radius rods. When you take this off, just uh, once you remove this, they're just single shear and they will pull apart. Or You're not gonna hurt anything, but it'll make it easier for install at one side. And it is easier if you have a hoist, but if you don't, then yeah, block jack, a wood and a jack. Uh, yep. Yep, she's gonna be custom. Yeah, this is a good upgrade. Um, well, there's no tie points on the rear. But, I mean, even when you're tying it down on the trailer, it's. Yeah, if you I, don't do this rear fascia here, delete for the different exhausts, like. You notice mine's got the trinity because I can put straps in these two holes, but if that cover's on, it really gets rid of any point you can strap to. You can't really go around here because the transmission's there. So your best bet is to get that uh, ZRP pole plate, and it strengthens up this rear too. Yeah, it's like night and day in the uh, beefiness. We'll say beefiness. You'll see it. I mean, it's just like sheet metal, yeah, it's nothing, nothing special. I mean, the top radius rod does have this extra plate on it, but. Yeah, but it's, even that aluminum billet weighs more than that piece of steel. So I did the ZRP plate, it's nice to put the little American flag in there. Oh and yeah, then, uh, America? You can, you can choose your color back here, different anodized. Yeah, that's just bolted on, so. You just kind of work it back up. Even if you get the one without the uh, D-ring, it still has the, the holes for the D-ring to bolt in there. They just charge you an extra 40 bucks for that. So you can see it for 100 bucks plus 40 with the D-ring or with a hitch. So. And you just go ahead once you get started and replace your... So simple. Yeah. Probably still so simple we shouldn't film it, but whatever. Well, if anybody's wondering what kind of a job it can be, is yeah. Super easy. So then from the back side, if any of them pushed out, you can tap them back in. Sometimes you gotta wiggle your, your radius rods to get them in. Yeah, I love the little American flag on there. That's why I bought it. <laughs> that and ZRP make some of the best stuff around, so. Uh, definitely. Yeah. And this we're going to want to, uh, you can go find me an 18 thin wall so we don't uh, mess up here. 18 thin wall, okay. And the anodizing in these uh, be that bad boy right here. This craftsman stuff I've had since I was a kid. Nice. Thank you. It's old, but it holds up. Yeah, they don't give you much. I mean, you could probably look in the book or the manual and find out what the specs are, but I'd say tight would be good. All right, so first thing we gotta do, and uh, we probably won't be able to film actually removing the bolt, but uh, it's real easy. You can get a 13 millimeter uh, box end on the one side, and then from the other side, you can grab the, uh, the nut with uh, an extension right there. And you just pull it out, remove the nut, and that whole spline will slide that way, which is what we got to do. We got to get it off there to slide it through the passenger side and forward. So the whole reason, the whole thing that we're doing here um, is there's not enough grease inside the, the floating splines down the drive shaft farther, and they start to rattle. It sounds like you have sheet metal rattling, and it, it's kind of crazy. I had it happen on my uh, my 2018. It's happening on my 2019. It seems to happen like right around about 200 miles. And also on lens now. Yeah, it sounds um, like a loose uh, 
heat shield or something. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. The sound sounds like it's coming from the back of the machine. Yeah. It's actually coming from the front. So. I promise you, this is what it is. So we're gonna yeah. pull the drive shaft out. It's relatively simple. Just takes a slight bit of time. Uh, we're gonna throw a bunch of really heavy weight grease inside those spines, reassemble it, and then uh, once that grease kind of dries up and cakes up, it'll it kind of stabilizes that and doesn't rattle. So yeah, that's the plan. So we'll catch you when we go to uh, get to the carrier bearing uh, car carrier bearing area. Okay, let me uh, see if I can get in there to see. You can see the wrench right there, and you can. Right there, and you can kind of see the nut on the other side. You got to get to that, but we'll be back. Yeah. So what All happens right. is um, this is a spline that it doesn't float because it's locked to the front differential with that bolt we just pulled out, but it does sit on this spline right here, and there's little, no grease really in that. So what happens is it rattles, and because of the way the the drive shaft is it turns that rattle into what sounds like sheet metal noise. Yeah. So, like I was saying, we have to put a bunch of heavyweight grease in there and it solves the problem. It worked on my last X3. And you'll know because when you, it'll change when you put it in and out of four-wheel drive. Yep. So you'll know that's what the problem is. So, yep, it's already not a good view, but gives you an idea that's uh, under the console, take the side panels off and now we're going to take the carrier bearing out, take that out, grease it up. Good to go. All right, so now the carrier bearing has been uh, unbolted from the frame. Those are both 15 millimeters. you got yellow Loctite on them. They'll help you probably a little bit to heat them up. Now we got enough room because the rear um, universal joint is also on a sliding uh, spline that's coming right out of the transmission in the back. So now you'll be able to see what we can do is take this whole drive shaft and move it backwards. That way we can take yep, the front. Move it forward. Actually, all the way back. You might have to go up and pull it off. There it goes. See now, see now the front one. Go ahead and show them up front. Okay, let me get you up here. So I push the carrier bearing all the way to the back right, so that I could then remove the front drive shaft. Oh, hard time seeing here, but. There it is. So now yep. I've got the front drive shaft removed. I can move it off to the side and pull the whole thing off and forward. Forward and out the front. Yep. So usually from the uh, factory, you're going to have a green line painted on your uh, drive shaft. I see he's got his green line here on the yoke, but not on the drive shaft. So I went ahead and marked it with a cur with a paint marker. So that you've got the right phasing. Put it right in the brake. Because if you get that off, um, you're going to get pulsing. Pulsing in the front end. And I'll put the link to the video that will explain drive shaft phasing. And once you kind of understand it, you'll see how important it really is. Yeah, uh, yeah just mark it. Like mm. like 98 degrees outside. That's why I'm sweaty. It's it's hot. So we, we didn't pick a great day to do this, but... Uh, yeah. We got stuff to do this weekend. We're going riding, so <laughs> we're gonna go do some ripping for a change. Yes. We haven't done too much of that, but. Okay, we're down to grease now. We gotta get some grease, and then we can move to the back of the machine. We'll grease that, and we'll just put it back together from the back forward. Okay. But yeah, this is in there. Can't see real well, but yeah, be no, back. We're gonna have to get some light on. Huh? All right, so back in the back here, we can try to get in and I'll, with my little fancy pointer here. This is the other rattle point we've got, and you can see. So hard to get in. But you can hear, we're getting oh, some yeah. rattling there that transmits up the drive shaft. So what you gotta do is you pull this back. You can see how that slides, everything's on a free slide here. And that's where the rattles come from. Then yeah. you gotta get over into the driver's side. Right in there. Right shift. Yeah, and you watch as I so I'm gonna pull the the carrier bearing will come out through this excess here. And then you can slide the unit. There it is. Yep. Forward into the wheel well, the driver's side. And it should 
Come right, right there. Yeah. Then we back it back up so we can get some grease on it. And we reinstall. Right in the floorboard there. Yep. Can am did a really good job. I mean, like I said, you gotta kinda wiggle in here and stuff, but Can am did a good job of making everything able to do without having to tear the skid plates off or do anything really ridiculous like remove the seats. Those side panels were just snap on, snap off. Yeah, and it's believe me, it's no fun doing it in this weather. So No, not at all. So at this point, we're gonna try to find us with the, the heaviest, thickest grease you got. If you can find some kind of paste even, yeah, I got to really some, uh, cook that thing up. Some um, high pressure uh, waterproof stuff. Yeah. Should be should do the trick. So So we'll uh, lube them babies up really well and we'll just reverse the process. And just for a note, it doesn't look like there's any grease on them splines at all. None. So none. And that was something that they that was a really bad problem with the X3s. Yeah, was I it? thought and hoped that they were going to fix it in 2019, but uh, I had the same problem came right away again in mind. So maybe in the 2020, maybe I'll buy a new 2020. <laughs> nah. <laughs> no, this one's just going to get done by the time they. Yeah, come. yeah. Well, Ray's got quite a waiting list too. So oh, and we will have video for you guys yes. of the first one that Ray gets. Uh, he's got a couple of the uh, 2020. Uh, XRS is coming, uh, so really excited about that. And, turbo uh, RRs, yeah. Yes, turbo RRs. So uh, yeah. we'll be there right at the beginning to get them unboxed and let you guys see what they're all about. So we're looking forward to that. Should be any uh, any day now. I think. Well, we got about I think about two more weeks before they're going to be at the. At uh, the they. I just saw one posting. The dealer had just gotten one yesterday. So they should start. So start he there. he'll call us. Ray's a good guy. Yeah. Ray sees. Go see him. Uh, Nobody will beat them, guaranteed. So yeah. go see them, Lapeer. Uh, it's worth the drive, no matter how far you gotta drive. Um, but uh, we'll be back with you. We'll get this greased up, get her all back together. Maybe we'll take her outside and get some glamour shots. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Alrighty. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna pull them, pull them goldies off there uh, when we get the new ones. But yeah. all right, there we are, boys. Well, successful. We just reinstalled back the way that we had pulled everything out. You start from the back, like we showed you with the part. No, just grease the back, install, slide your carrier bearing back in, and that's when you grease your second row, you know, uh, floating spine. Put that back in. Then you reinstall the front. Put your bolt in. Bring the carrier back to where it's supposed to be. Reinstall your bolts and your side panels and you're done. And mark that front one before you take it apart. Yeah, that's and, the most uh, important thing yeah. is make sure your drive shafts are, are, are phased. And I'll, like I said, I'll put a link to the video that explains why that is. Yeah, you can uh, uh, make sure important. you do that. Cause, but we'll take a walk around here, new wheels, new tusk. Dirty already. Somehow. Tusk terabytes, yeah, they got dirty sitting in the garage. Because I was waiting to film it. I didn't want I wanted to put them on, but I wanted to wait. So and uh ZRP D-ring pull plate. Other side here, get rid of the goldies. Yep. And we'll get her from the front here. It's tough to see the dang suns like blaring today, but uh Yeah. Very boom. Nice. Alrighty, so uh, keep an eye out. Thanks for subscribing. Anything you want to say, Ryan? Uh, yeah, thanks for all of our new subscribers. We got a whole bunch of you recently. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, we are going to get back to the Defender um, and do some things with her. So uh, we're going to go up to the 32 inch uh, Maxxis Carnivores on the Defender. There's plenty of room because it's the XMR. Got to we got to get away from those uh, ITP cryptids. They're awesome in the mud, but um, they're just not realistic for the amount of travel we have to do to and from these mud holes. And I want to see what these cryptids can do. And we're going to put these Tusk Terabytes to the test as well, but now with the Badlands. They had lots of reviews, lots yeah. of good reviews. Uh, 1,000 mile review was really good on them. So, so uh, yeah, and the other thing, maybe we'll put dualies on the Defender. Yeah, that kind of came up. We hope no one steals it. And I'm trying to uh, brainstorm a way we can do it without. We can do it easily. Yeah. Without putting too much strain on those rear bearings. Well, it'd us. just be for for fun. <laughs> I don't think we'd go ripping it around too much, but. No, but it sure would look. Sure, sweet, look so. sweet. Yeah. So but, we'll uh, see what we can do about that. That'd be a fun thing no one else has done. So, uh, yeah, well, keep uh, 
Deep King will look at us, and uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Um, yeah, we appreciate yeah, everything. We're Thank you. To get to that magic number of 1,000. We still haven't got there. We're working on like a year and three quarters now. Broke 700 mark last uh, week. We like taken on 20, 25 new subscribers, which is awesome. So thank you guys. 28 last I heard. Or yeah. 28 in the yeah. last week. So thanks to all the new people that have been on. Uh, we appreciate it. We're gonna do a lot of things with the blog, guys. Uh, a lot of things um, with uh, Osborne Synthetics. Uh, that's a new thing that'll be coming out too. You're gonna be able to get all your AMS oil, oil, and Ignite fuel through us at really cheap rates. Uh, so that's gonna be coming out here soon as well. So uh, we'll keep you guys all posted and uh, throw all your not notifications if you want to see when it pops up. Oh, when it comes up right away. Thanks. Alrighty, and another shot of the machine. See ya. <laughs>